Hi, this is Brendan from Watto Training, and in this tutorial, we take a look at Jetty Road in Glenelg, South Australia. We're looking at traffic situations, road rules, and safe driving strategies. Jetty Road in Glenelg is a major tourism and retail precinct in Adelaide, South Australia. Starting from Brighton Road, it is almost one kilometre long. At its western end is the popular Glenelg Beachfront. The Glenelg tram line runs along the road with stops at either end and in the middle. Jetty Road gets very busy. Keep your eyes on the move. Don't fix your eyes on any single object for more than about two seconds. Keep moving your eyes from object to object, otherwise danger could threaten your vehicle from another source without you being aware of it. Driving is a complex task. Anything that takes your mind off the mind or eyes off the road or your hands off the wheel not only compromises your safety but that of everyone else on the road. Actively scan the road environment. Scanning means a driver takes in the whole scene 360 degrees around their vehicle. Scanning far enough ahead may mean looking through the windows of vehicles ahead of you to see what is happening. For example, by doing this you will know in advance if a car ahead is braking as you will see the brake lights come on several cars ahead. This will give you more time to brake if required. Scanning means that you are not just looking at the vehicle immediately in front of you. Looking ahead also means scanning from side to side for hazards on the roadside or at intersections. Use your central and peripheral vision. S central vision is what you see out your front windshield when looking straight ahead. While central vision covers about three degrees of the visual field straight ahead of us, Peripheral or side vision covers the rest. Peripheral vision refers to part of the sight outside your central field of vision and allows you to see objects to the side without having to move your eyes or head. Peripheral vision is not as sharp as central vision but is more sensitive to light and motion and helps us detect events to the side even when we're not looking in that direction. Mirror checks. Check your mirrors every eight to 10 seconds. Things change behind and beside you when you drive. Unless you check your mirrors, you won't know if someone is doing something such as trying to overtake or if there is a police car or ambulance coming up quickly. Check your blind spots. If you need to turn or diverge right or left, you need to know what is in your blind spots. Head checks enable you to check your blind spots. Look 12 seconds ahead. In a 60 km hour zone, this means looking up to 200 meters ahead. By moving your eyes, you are able to check the, check the far distance, the middle distance, and the near distance directly in front. Drivers must, must detect and respond appropriately to any hazard. For example, out of order traffic lights, tram and tram crossings, cyclists, pedestrians, to name a few. Other hazards include a child chasing a ball onto the road, vehicles emerging from intersections, side streets and driveways, car doors opening, a vehicle merging into your lane or stopping suddenly in front of you, rain after a long dry spell, slippery road surface after rain, animals running out into the road, mainly cats and dogs. What is a hazard? A hazard is anything dangerous or potentially dangerous that a driver may encounter. In short, anything which would or could interrupt your progress. What driving strategies are recommended to safely manage Jetty Road? Apply the system of car control. The system of car control is a drill. Each step of which is to be considered in sequence by the driver at the approach to any hazard. By correct application of the system, the vehicle will always be in the correct place on the road, traveling at the correct speed and with the correct gear engaged. Let's look at an example of the system of vehicle control for a right turn. The key instructions are 1. Scan and plan, set your course. 2. Mirror check. 3. Signal right. 4. Lower your speed and adjust your position. 5. Gear down if manual and mirror and shoulder check. Step 6. Take ev evasive action, for example give way, and then accelerate away smoothly when safe to do so. Let's have a look at an example of the system of car control, a right turn from Jetty Road into Brighton Road. Comply with the system of car control when approaching traffic lights, e.g. mirror, cover the brake, etc. We've got a pedestrian to the left and we've got a green light up ahead. 
You can drive past the green traffic light or arrow as long as the intersection is clear. You must not enter the intersection if you cannot drive through it because the road ahead is blocked. As we see the next panel, we can see the pedestrian is still on the left side of the road. We've got an orange light and the driver of the red vehicle has a right, a red, a right indicator on. You must stop on a yellow light unless it is unsafe to do so. The yellow light is not the end of the green light phase, it's the beginning of the red light phase. If it's, not, if it's safe to stop, you must not drive past the stop line at a yellow traffic light or if there is no stop line, the traffic light. If it's unsafe to stop, such as being too close to the light when it changes from green to yellow, you may proceed through the yellow light. We've also got on the road painted arrows. Painted arrows show you which direction you can take in a lane. When the arrows show more than one direction, you can go in any of those directions. You must always indicate when you are turning, even when there's a painted arrow. As you turn from one road into the other, stay in the same lane. If it's unsafe to stop, e.g. on the orange light as we can see, such as being too close to the light when it changes from green to yellow, you may proceed through the yellow light. Keep at least 1.2 metres clearance from parked vehicles, bicycle riders or other vehicles when passing where safe and practicable. Keep at least three seconds time interval between you and the vehicle in front. Adjust your vehicle's position by holding back if the vehicle in front obstructs the view ahead, for example, known as get the big picture. Constant checking ensures that the vehicle is fully, sorry, the driver is fully aware of everything that is going on around the vehicle. Road position. Road positioning means keeping enough room around your vehicle to avoid hazards. This is known as buffering. Don't get too close to parked cars so you can avoid hitting opening doors. Always check your mirrors before changing your position on the road. Remember your hazard perception action plan. See road, has, see road hazards through active scanning, for example, the white vehicle doing the reverse park and the approach ve approaching vehicle and tram on the other side of the road. Think about what might happen, e.g. the white vehicle might or will take up my road space. Think about possible solutions. Could I slow down? Could I wait till the path is clear? Could I overtake? Uh, not an option with a tram coming. Do something to remain safe. For example, slow down and wait for space. This hazard perception process can be summarized as th see, think and do. Crash avoidance space. As a driver, you should adjust your speed and position to keep a safe distance from vehicles in front and to the sides of your vehicle. This is called your crash avoidance space. Keep clear signs. You are not allowed to stop between the white lines when you see a keep clear painted marking. This is to ensure vehicles do not obstruct other vehicles from entering the road from a driveway such as outside an ambulance or fire station. They may also be at T-sections to avoid cars blocking the intersection. Cyclist. To share, the road, to share the road safely with bicycle riders, drivers should scan the road ahead for bicycle riders. When turning or entering an intersection, look for bicycle riders and give way as you would for any other vehicle. The law requires all drivers to only overtake when it is safe to do so. This includes overtaking people on bicycles. It is best to slow down until it is safe to overtake. Give bicycle riders plenty of room. You must allow a minimum of one metre clearance um, if, um, up to 60 kilometres per hour and 1.5 metres if travelling over 60 kilometres per hour. Give way signs. Give way means to slow down and if necessary stop in order to prevent a crash from happening. You must always give way at a give way sign and check it's safe to continue. Giveway signs are placed at intersections and other places where other vehicles have priority. In this case, the grey car gives way all clear to turn right. Regulatory signs. These are the red, white and black ones. 
Regulatory signs inform you of traffic laws and regulations. They tell you what you as a road user must do by law in different situations where it may not be otherwise obvious. Regulatory signs also include parking zone signs and can appear with supplementary signs. Obeying these signs will help to protect you, your passengers, other motorists, cyclists and pedestrians. There are four different shapes when it comes to regulatory signs, octagons, rectangles, circles, and triangles. Here's a regulatory sign, that being a 40 sign. You must not drive faster than the speed limit shown in the circle. Do not exceed the speed limit of 40 kilometers per hour. Here is a no entry sign. This sign means you are not allowed to enter the area ahead. You must not drive past this sign. When you're driving through roadworks, it is important to consider road workers and obey speed signs. Patience is the key to keeping road workers safe. Here's a one-way sign. When you see a one-way sign, you must only drive in the direction shown by the arrow on the sign. Crossing tram tracks while riding a bike. Cross tracks in a straight line rather than crossing on an angle. This reduces the amount of time your rubber is on the metal. Try not to swerve while crossing the tracks. Sideways movement from your tires can cause them to slip on the metal. Don't go too fast and don't speed up or slow down while crossing the tracks. A change in momentum can cause your wheels to skid. Be extra careful in wet weather and cross at a slower speed than usual. Warning signs. Warning signs are yellow and black. Here are some examples. Warning signs let you know that road changes are coming up on your drive. These can be permanent or temporary traffic hazards and obstacles. This is a yellow curb line. An unbroken yellow curb line is a no stopping line. You must not stop for any reason except a medical or similar emergency. Here we have a situation where we are demonstrating the system of car control when giving way. Unless they are part of an off-road tramway where vehicles are not permitted, tram tracks are positioned in the middle of the road in specially marked tram lanes. Unless specifically allowed, drivers must not drive in tram lanes. Drivers must not drive past or overtake a tram to the right unless allowed to do so by a traffic sign or road marking. Additionally, drivers must not drive past or overtake a tram to the left if the tram is turning left or signalling to turn left, unless the driver is also turning left and there is no danger of collision. If you're driving or walking around trams, there's a few things you can do to keep yourself and passengers on board safe. Give space. If a tram needs to stop quickly, it needs full length to stop safely. Avoid overtaking braking suddenly or making a U-turn in front of a tram. Pedestrians need to cross the road from the nearest footpath or platform by following road markings and signs for safety and the safety of others. Be aware, trams travel in both directions and are deceptively fast and quiet. Follow road markings and signs for safety and the safety of others. If walking, never walk out, never walk out behind a tram to cross the tracks as you may not see trams coming from the opposite direction. Take care, trams cannot swerve to avoid you. If you're in the path of an approaching tram, move safely out of the way as soon as you can and avoid crossing the road in front of a moving tram. Bus stops and buses. A bus is a vehicle that can carry 13 or more people, including the driver. When you are driving in a built up area and the speed limit is 70 kilometers an hour or less, you must give way to the bus that displays a give way to bus sign on its back right hand side and is signaling to enter traffic from a bus zone, bus stop or bus stop bay. The shoulder of the road or the left side of the road. Buses like all other vehicles are required to indicate for five seconds before moving off from a park position, which includes a bus stop. Thanks for watching. This has been Brendan from Watto Training.